Hello, everybody. Hello. All welcome. Welcome to Travel Tips Tuesday. <laughs> oh, it's been a day. Welcome to chaos. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, that was earlier. Yeah. Um, I feel like the kids got, I don't know, got down pretty somewhat quickly tonight. At least they're asleep faster than normal. Yeah. It was, so. it was a crazy day. Crazy day indeed. Um, hope everybody's doing well out there tonight. We're going to get into a little bit of cruise talk here in just a little bit and share some Disney news, some things that have happened uh, since the last time um, we were live a couple of weeks ago and talk about some things moving forward as well. So super excited uh, to be with you all. And uh, let me go over to comments here. There we go. Jen says. Hi, Jen. Hi, John. And then. Hi, Tanya. Yes, so there you. we go. <laughs> She she gave a uh, both look so tired, yeah. So there, that's what I was going for there. Yeah, we're 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 a little tired. Uh, today was a was a day mm -hmm. of being parental units, uh, as they say. So anyway, but tomorrow it's May the fourth. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on tonight? May the fourth be with you. May the fourth be with you. Um, yeah, it is, but I thought I would say it anyway. So this, this is showing that I know <laughs> what you're talking about. This, this is going to be a very short show tonight. Um, thank oh, you. I for, hope so. Thank you for tuning in to Travel <laughs> Tips Tuesday. We'll I mean, see you next week. No. Um, well, let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get rolling. Uh, Jen actually has a question uh, about cruising uh that she posted right off the top that we'll get to here in just a little bit that i think is a very good question that we get a lot I can't see it. and um I, I think it's one that uh is often as and often talk, talked about and there are a variety of opinions but i'll give you a little bit of opinion a little bit of fact kind of mixed in there and anyway we'll go with it uh tonight this is travel tips tuesday and it is may the 3rd 2022 and we're going to talk all about cruising tonight. Um, towards the end of the show, we're going to take a look at sort of brief overview uh, of four different cruise lines and kind of their approach to cruising and sort of some some pros and cons to them and even kind of what uh, what sort of you know groups of folks might enjoy uh, those cruise lines uh, and talk some destinations and some mechanics and all that kind of stuff. We're also going to talk a little bit about uh, why go on a cruise in the first place and why that may be, um, may be something you need to do uh, next time around. Our travel news tonight, we're going to talk about two different things, but the big ticket item that is out there um, is that Mickey's not so scary Halloween party Ooh. is officially back and making a return uh, this August through, uh, see, the, they premiere August the 12th is when the first party is, uh, through October the 31st on Halloween. So uh, select nights, not every single night from August 12th to October 31, um, but they have got a lot of stuff uh, that is packed in there. Uh, if you remember, so excited. yeah. We it, haven't been since, like, we worked there, I don't think. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a very <laughs> long time. We've, we've got a, uh, like, a re reusable shopping bag or yep. trick-or-treat bag or whatever from I that year i'll do last day yeah so <laughs> um but the the halloween party is very different uh from the after hours event last year the the boobash after hours event um the boobash event was a very very trimmed down version of what the ha halloween party uh typically is um, but this year for the Halloween party, they are bringing back the Headless Horseman. Um, that is kind of a, a fixture for uh, this particular event. And you all right over there? Nope. I'm doing some uh, Just keep talking. Adjust, they, they, adjusting of the people, things. Um, um, the Headless Horseman will be there that uh, rides on this massive horse. I think it like, must be like a Clydesdale or something because the horse is huge. Um, kind of down Main Street. And uh, the also the Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade, where all the characters are dressed up in their Halloween outfits, and the uh, Grave Diggers are out there. Um, oh, they're my favorite. Yeah, they're they're fun. They kind of you know have the shovels, they smack them on the pavement, and throw sparks and stuff. I don't it's know. really it's, cool. It's it's fun. Uh, and they and they dance. So, and what what's the name of the? Oh gosh, somebody's gonna remember this, and I don't. The Dapper Dance. Yes, the Cadaver Dance. The Cadaver. That's dance. it. That's I was it. like, <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. Uh, our, our, our friend Rob Lott will probably like, I don't know, look down on me for that, but that's okay. Um, 
They also will have the return of trick or treating featuring a keepsake 50th anniversary celebration trick or treating bag Aww. because Disney can't say something. They're like, yeah, we're going to give you a bag. It's and like a, you know, 50th anniversary celebration. Ke oh, keepsake. Yes, that's it's a only, keepsake. All in all, that's eight words. That's that's code for reusable shopping tote. <laughs> um, if for those of you that are that are following, we need to do like a like a like a normal speak and then like <laughs> Disney speak. Like, like what, translation. <laughs> what this means. I think that would be like a that could be like a good blog post. Um, also, the hocus pocus. Can we blog? I mean, we could sort of. Not really. I guess we could. That would be fun. Let us know in the comments if you think we should block. Um, oh, yes. That's true. <laughs> um, Tanya's nor she normally edits my emails and stuff that go out, and that's about as much, I don't know, bloggy like that we get. I think I would like to blog, but when? I don't know. That's true. I just use all this free time that I have. Yeah. We could do some like a little blog snippets and emails or something like that. Maybe start a Patreon where we send out like, you know. Still sounds like work. Yeah, it does. <laughs> this, is this is true. Uh, meanwhile, this is our job now. <laughs> yeah, a bit. Uh, the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular will feature the return of the Sanderson sisters. So sisters, it. sorry, he's, uh, he's over here on like, stage. Yeah, he's like, I'm not, I'm not showing you. You can't see don't this. Cheat. Don't look at my paper. <laughs> it's all a surprise. Um, is, uh, featuring the Sanderson sisters, of course. For those of you that are not aware, Hocus Pocus Two is coming out on Disney Plus this fall. I don't know the exact release date. Um, but Disney sort of teased the return of the Halloween party. Um, they have this them, yeah. this halfway to Halloween um, sort of thing that they did a few days ago. So is that? And yes. So like, that's halfway from Halloween to Halloween. Yes. Because then I was like, is it halfway from like the beginning of the year to Halloween? I was very confused. Yeah. No, 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 no I'm, I'm confused. with you. I could have put like three and a half seconds of effort into thinking about it. No, sure. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I had to think about it too. You're like halfway to Halloween. What exactly does that mean? Because like Disney starts their Halloween celebrations, obviously like the Halloween parties. August 12th. August 12th. But Halloween is not until like two and a half months later. So uh, They're also celebrating their 50th anniversary for a year and a half. Yeah, so it's like, you know, <laughs> Past the 51st let's milk it for as long as we can. Uh, market research. So um, <laughs> I guess it boils down to that. I don't know. What um, was Jen's question? Was it cruise related? Yes, it's oh, cruise okay, related. Okay. It's a very good question. Um, sure we she it. does say, speaking of Jen, she says, Speaking of Jen. Yay. So excited for Hocus Pocus 2. That is my comfort movie, Hocus Pocus. I watched so much when I lived away from New England. New England. I had to, just did that just for funsies. Wow. She can She said lots of stuff. Yeah, she. Well, I mean, yeah, she did. Thank goodness, Boo Bash is gone. Boo Bash was the biggest waste of my money. Yeah, my when John said it was year. a trimmed down version, yeah, my thought was, and and that's a polite way of saying the lame version of. It was also more expensive. Which is so ridiculous. Yeah. So the uh, I, mean, I see that from their perspective, that right. they have a lower capacity. But like, come on, y'all. So the Halloween party uh, after hours event, I think was from nine p.m. until twelve or what? like they normally start at nine like thirty to twelve or something like five that. Five or seven. It was only I think if I remember right, it was only three hours long, and the uh, Halloween party starts at se it's from seven to midnight, but you can get in typically as early as like four. Um, yeah. yeah. So basically, it's like. A park ticket, but all these like special things that are that are going on. Not every attraction will be open during the party, by the way, but the vast majority of them will be. By the way, going and, to the park that yeah. morning is not that bad of an idea. People no, will be not. like, "Well, I don't want to, you know, waste a park reservation on Magic yeah. Kingdom when they're closed early." But everyone's thinking that, and so yeah. no one will do. It. Yeah, <laughs> and you'll be able to like maybe not walk on rides, so, but it, some like, people park will capacity like is usually down on those days yeah. because of that. If you don't have a ticket, it's a very good point. Some people will avoid the parks on that day because they close early. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so you know there may not be um, a little insider tip. Yeah. Them. Travel tips Tuesday. Hey, Oh, we can go. We're, we're done for tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Is there um, any particular reason the tripod holding the camera is sideways? I have like no leaning. idea. Y'all can't see this. It's I don't know. Can you, do we look like we're leaning? Well, I tried to fix it earlier. Hang on. Leaning so let's... on the aqua tripod. Oh man. We should have a monopod. That would be best. 
Hello, my name is Monopod. There it is. Monopod, Monopod. No, the whole tripod is leaning. Well, I don't know. It's it, like when you put a Christmas tree up. Y'all know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. Well, and you know. I have to stand in the other corner of the room while John does this, and I'm like, move it to do the we, left. Do we all need to like to lean to right slightly to, to the left? I guess to right. our left, your right. Or, I think if or, I just tilt whatever. my head like this, it'll be fine. Y'all, I'm sorry. It's just bothering me. Like one leg is longer than the other two, and I don't understand one why. One of these is not like Look, the other. See, you can see the difference. In the I legs. know that one. Well, one of them is like kind of broken. I had to. I don't know why. I had to adjust it last week. Like last no, week, I'm the like setup not be was able to sleep or last time. This. So it's gonna be like two in the morning, and I'm gonna be like, "Why is one leg longer? What is going on?" All right. So anyway, um, back to the old Halloween party. So yeah, the oh. Hocus <laughs> Ye Old Halloween Party. Uh, the Hocus Pocus villain spectacular will be spectacular rather. With an e at the yes, end. Ye Old Ye Old uh, That's how you say it. Um, is, is coming back the show right in front of the castle that they do around the Halloween times. Uh, it will be fun. And then there's also a few Halloween attraction overlays that are coming oh. back as well, which will be fun. Uh, the Space Mountain. Space Mountain's just pitch black, isn't that their overlay? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, so it's awesome. like. It's so, and I think they may like switch up the music, um, but the overlay Space Mountain overlay at um, Disneyland out in California is different. Um, oh god, I think they, I think they call it like Space Mountain Ghost Galaxy. I think so. It's like a it's it's just a completely different uh, overlay. There's like a pitch black. Yeah, uh, Mad Tea Party, which is basically they put it and they start play play some Halloween -y music and change up the lights and it's sort of fun. Yeah, um, and then Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean, however you say that, and then Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor as well. So these are the ones that are coming. We don't know a whole lot beyond that, beyond, you know, kind of some of the things that we've already done in the past, but it's exciting to see that. Uh Disney's not so spooky, spooky, spectacular. <laughs> why how what <laughs> again? Why do we have to have so many names? So many names. Um, okay, our nine-year-old okay. would be like alliteration. Okay. Alliteration. <laughs> She's so proud when she knows. Um, Disney's not so spooky, spectacular, hosted by the Pumpkin King himself, Jack Skellington. So, looking forward to seeing Jack and of course Sally. Um, they are traditionally one of the. Uh, my favorite. One, yeah. Well, seriously, they're, they're one of the longest lines at the Halloween parties uh, for for pictures traditionally. So, um, pack your patience, if you will, for that. Uh, do you remember, like, I don't think, I'm just thinking about this. I thought about this earlier. I'm thinking about it again now. Not in 2000, I guess, 19. Yeah, 19 was the last Halloween party Okay, they did. I think it was that year. They had, like, an unlimited pass that you could buy for all the Halloween parties. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, I thought it was crazy. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah. Um, anyway. Um, They're not having that? No, no, not that I'm aware of, at least. I mean, it's like as far as the ticket pricing that we've we've looked at, I haven't seen anything about that. Mm -hmm. So I just don't think that's the best decision. People complain about too many, you know, people and crowds and all those kinds of things. So um, there will also be a 50th anniversary commemorative print uh, for guests. I don't know why. You're having I, a really hard time. With this. I really am. Uh, too many words. Um, and if commemorative, uh, mm -hmm. if they do anything like they did for the 50th anniversary on it? October 1st of last year. Um, they will hand those out to guests upon exit of the park, and hopefully they won't run out of them like they did on October the 1st, 2021. So I have a, actually I have that print here somewhere. I need to put it in a frame and put it up. It's kind of nice. Um, again, the commemorative. Wait, the, you have a the commemorative print? From October the 1st. Yeah. It was like a complimentary thing. I showed it to you. It's probably like, it's like. But they have them once. again? No, it's this is one specifically for the Halloween party. Okay. Yeah. The one for October 1st was like a 50th anniversary thing. That says 50th anniversary. Yeah, but it's never mind. Um, it's a different one specifically for the Halloween party. I should have put that on there. I My just want all our good. podcast listeners to know that <laughs> if you're only listening to the audio, oh, you're, you're missing, missing out. out. You're missing it, everybody. There's just, you're not getting the full. Oh, man. The full experience, mostly Not the my full face. experience, Clark, pretty much, or her my face, yeah, her glares looking at me. Um, hey, look, look at this. Jen says her print is framed from October one, so that's okay. fun. Yeah, good times. Um, so again, oh, flight dates. So yeah, but go ahead. Our our daughter and I might try to go to that one of those. Yeah, maybe. We'll Hopefully, we'll look up. Um, again, select dates. Uh, August the 12th 
to October 31. Um, again, tickets go on sale for on property guests as of May 12. And um, here, look, you gotta look. what? I, I don't oh, know. I think maybe it's because I put it on the other side of my leg. Yeah, the cord is dangling down, and when I put it on the side of my leg, it it pulls it a nope, little nope, bit. Nope, nope, nope. That, that's how you me hold that. Nope, okay. no, I can do I'm it. Just trying to help. I'm a strong, independent woman. Well, I know that, but it doesn't mean I can help. Okay. Got it. I helped. Um, hey, you stole that. I did. I did, but that's okay. It's a it's a reference. Anybody else gets that? Drop it in the comments. Um, all right. 2023 Disney Cruise Line sailings are are now available. I love you go straight back to your announcer voice. If are now that, available. Put it in the, put it in the comments below. 2023 Disney Cruise Line sailings in a world. Um, all right. 2023 Disney Cruise Line sailings are uh, the itineraries are out through September of 2023. Currently, uh, certain Castaway Club members, so like the higher tiers. Uh, can go ahead and book those. Um, general uh, booking will be open on May the 9th for the general public for those. I uh, highly suggest you go ahead and jump on those, especially if you're looking for a popular week like Christmas, New Year's, uh, Thanksgiving, even Halloween um, are, are usually uh, pretty popular. Of course, we're not going to be like quite to Halloween yet, but uh, there are some great, um, great options that are now open uh, for uh, booking. And uh, I've already talked to some folks about that that are looking to plan a special party for uh, their little girl, which will be fun, uh, aboard the Disney Wish, the newest ship. So it'll be pretty sweet. Uh, so, again, general bookings are open and available on May the 9th. So, oh, look, mom's here. My mom? Yeah, look, there she is. Hi, Hamburger mom. helper. Why don't you put that? <laughs> I don't get it. No, it's shake and bake. It's, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's shake and bake, and I helped. Um, so close. <laughs> yeah. So it was like, I mean, the chicken bake's been around for so long since like what, like the fifties or something. That, that I feel gift like. you posted, I'm like, I'm yeah, they look like it was from right. the fifties. But it was, it's the commercial. It was like a little girl. It was a little girl I boy. It was a little boy. I a mean, it boy. probably changed over time. Yeah, it just, I don't know. Had a, had a crazy, crazy, um, fun it's little chicken bake, and I hail. <laughs> It's just funny, uh, no matter how you look at it. So let's talk no, about. But mom, that's what we're having for dinner tomorrow night, hamburger helper. So this is true. Sounds delicious. I did that stuff is really good. It's like it the gluten. It's the gluten free cheeseburger hamburger helper from Aldi. It's quite good, yeah, and it's not like the. It's better than like the regular hamburger helper, the box stuff. I think. So anyway, and we use ground turkey. Yep, we do. We do, we do, we do. So, so our question of the day that is uh, up on the screen right now is what is your favorite cruise memory? So this is kind of the bulk of our uh, focus for uh, tonight. We're going to, again, take a look at four different cruise lines. We're going to talk about, uh, you know, why go on the cruise in the first place. Um, so a lot of people are, uh, you know, planning trips and vacations. So like all-inclusive resorts and Disney parks and the mountains and the beach and uh, all these different places, and some are uh, planning cruises as well. So the cruise industry was one of the last major industries to sort of really begin the recovery from the pandemic season. Uh, and even so, they, you know, even though the Centers for Disease Control uh, uh, CDC has sort of relaxed you a lot of diseases. <laughs> diseases. Did I really say it like that? Yeah. I did not mean to. Yeah, Thank you, Jeremy Car Clarkson. We'll blame that on you. He'll never see this. Um, if, if you did, if you do, what, what are you doing here? He will never see. Yeah, if, if you do, go somewhere else, Jeremy. <laughs> this is not worth your time. <laughs> okay, grief. Uh, what am I even saying right now? I don't know. So, um, the Senate, yeah, the CDC yeah, so is kind of really recovering. Yeah, back the, they have. Um, the they're, they're more guidelines now as opposed to like, regulations or mandates if you will um so that's why when you go out and see now or guidelines and actual rules there you go jack this yeah enjoyed that pirates of the caribbean tying Barbosa. it all in do it i thought it was barbosa well i mean it's pirates of the, well, well, i maybe. guess they both say but it. They, yeah they do uh it's a it's a pirates pirates thing um so there are a lot of great reasons why I think you can go on a cruise. And I kind of came up with sort of four of them. Um, and then we're going to. There's only four. Reasons. There's only four. No more. No less. Uh, and the first one is this. You can see multiple locations only when packing your bag one time. Oh. So, you know, I know a lot. benefit. Yeah. I mean, seriously, think about it. P some people love road trips. The idea of like going somewhere. That's why and... I want to do like a river cruise because you are legit right. like doing. Yeah. Different, yeah, 
countries like on the run yeah like that's yeah i uh you know i have the privilege Grandma's of talking again she is that's right shake and bake, bake. Okay. there it is uh but our question today is this right here what is your favorite cruise memory uh if we talk about disney memories we talk about you know other travel memories that we've made along the way but there's something about cruising uh that sort of creates this environment for people to kind of celebrate and just have fun and and, and be a lot more laid back mm -hmm. uh the people that love cruising are like crazy about it mm -hmm. uh so there are some people that like try to live on cruise ships mm -hmm. year round mm -hmm. so um anyway uh seeing multiple locations only unpacking your bag one time you know a different uh, a little bit of different scenery most days is uh, is is a pretty cool, cool thing, I think. Um, being able to experience different cultures um, around the world and um, being able to you know learn new things, do new things, and I don't know. Whatnot. I also always have said I wanted to do one of those cruises to nowhere. Yeah, it's just like floats around in circles for days, and you just stay on the ship the whole time. That also sounds fun to me. That's basically like what a like a repositioning transatlantic cruise is. Is you you spend like literally I think at least seven days at sea. Yeah, but a repositioning transatlantic cruise sounds boring. Well, I know, a cruise but to nowhere sounds mysterious and exciting. Well, you, maybe maybe there's an opportunity branding opportunity there for cruise lines. Just saying. Yeah, I've always just heard cruise to nowhere. I don't know. Um, talking too much. So Who Jen, said that? I did. Who said that? What? Who said we're talking too much? No, I did. I'm oh. saying it about myself. I'm like, who's making these comments on a talk show? I'm saying it about myself. Let's oh get back gosh, to Jen's question because show? I think this is from that she mentioned uh, as we were getting started earlier. Because I think this is very important. Uh, she says, question, do you need a passport to cruise with Disney when you have uh, the enhanced license? So you're probably talking about the star ID. Um, and the answer to that question is if it is a... Uh, a closed loop cruise meaning it starts and ends in the same port. So say you leave Port Canaveral and you're coming back to Port Canaveral, you could sail with like your driver's license and a birth certificate. Um, I, but if you're going but, from like Port Canaveral to like, I don't know, Mexico one way or, you know, transatlantic or whatever, uh, then transatlantic cruise. yes, exactly. Um, then you would have to have a passport. Now here's my little thing. I think whenever why you should you, not do that, why you should not do that. Um, <laughs> so you can, but, but you can, you know, you do you at the end of the day, uh, passports, but don't mine's do right here. So too. passports are good for like 10 years. Right. So yeah, here's mine right there. Um, passports are good for 10 years for grown ups. I think five years Glad for minors. That. They wouldn't have known what it was. Yeah. I mean, you've never seen one before. Um, unless, you know, so what, what? No idea what's going on right now. I've never seen one before. <laughs> why did I even? Why did I even do that? My, that's my high for oh, today. Oh wow! <laughs> we ask our kids like, "What's your high from today? What's your low from today?" <laughs> that's my high. Uh, I'm so delirious. My I feelings haven't even heard about that. <laughs> I didn't do for you. I haven't even packed yet. Um, you never. You say that like you normally pack ahead of time. Talking about using He'll a pack passport. at like four thirty in the morning while he's uh, waiting for the lift to come pick him up. Basically, yeah. So, um, oh yeah. So my reason why. So when you are uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. traveling with we on a cruise, this is why you need you need to have a passport. Again, they're good for ten years. You pay the money, you get it, and whatever. You so it. you can you can use them for uh, like job applications, appointment verification. Okay, stuff, the reason you don't want to do it on a cruise no, 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 is no, no, an no, emergency, no. you cannot get on a plane. Well, yeah, emergency. but I'm getting there, but I was it's just like, taking a long time. But there's People like other, there's other reasons talking. why, and I wanted to talk about those too. That's what I was doing. We're having a domestic dispute. So, but it doesn't have to do with a cruise. We're talking about cruises. I know, but I'm also talking about passports. Form of identification. And what people know what passports are. Some people they do know what they look like. <laughs> okay. some, some people don't know that. They like you can, do. like you can use a passport for a lot of different things. They're super practical. But that's like that's my point though, because some people think about passports as one of those things that's just like oh, it's too much trouble to go and get one, right? Why why only get it when it has like one singular purpose? And it doesn't. That's my point. Yeah. So like you should get one so like tanya said if there is an emergency you can fly back otherwise you are stuck in country and you have to you know go to the embassy and do whatever it's just a lot less of a hassle if you have a passport at the end of the day just get a passport just get it um just get it so go ahead um i got my picture at walgreens mr charles qualls wait hang on a second we'll get to explain this john really is kermit 
<laughs> I don't. Is that what I'm going to assume that's what you're referencing, Jen. I have no idea what's going on right now. Anyway, Charles says, I think the itinerary answers the passport question in part. We've been on cruises where we needed a passport. Others, not so much. So, yeah. But, like, at the end of the day, it's related to the itinerary. He's right. Uh, but I always recommend to have one anyway. Because the, the star ID that she was talking about is was originally supposed to be in place by like uh 2020 i think i don't even know the current date i need I'm a bad travel agent i need to look it up where um the bad travel agent. yeah seriously where that where, i can't like for some reason it's it's stuck because of that whole yeah it's the kermit i got the kermit reference oh. hi ho kermit the frog here um so but yeah, they have a, a mandate in place where basically uh, everybody that's going to be flying domestically has to go through this uh, process to get this certain like designation on their license. That basically means they've had a background check and we you are who you say you are and all that kind of stuff. That. Yeah, we do. You wanted to get that's the other thing. TSA pre-check. No reason not to do it. It's good for... For December. You still have it. Yeah, it's good for five years. And and uh, you go to like staples or something that's where i'm at. it sounds like work i'll let you do it <laughs> so, well no you like have to go because you have to prove you like, you're figure you. out everything. you've got your passport renewed now so you can take that and you're you know you're good to go so you gotta go to staples for pre-check yes oh. uh yeah Who knew? So, so john apparently i don't know a lot of things but i do know some things yeah you have to go to staples okay so, so why else go on a cruise john there's something for everyone to do everyone Everyone. I was actually just having this conversation with my best friend because except for pets. There's, there's you can't nothing. take your pets on board, sorry. Well, you can take service animals. I mean, those are not really pets though. Well, I mean, they're part of your family. That's true. That's true. Very true. So um, anyway, I was talking to my friend about how cruises really are great and especially like yeah. we were talking about compromising with Disney and like Disney cruises are great because there literally is something. I mean, there are on all of them, but like, well, I mean, no, I guess there's not something for everyone on like a virgin cruise where children are not allowed to go. But, but with Disney cruises, I mean, you've got like the magic of Disney that appeals to all ages, but then there's like adults only areas and like super fancy yep. spas and like, um, super fine dining that you can yep. pay extra for. And then your kids can like, you know, ride the mm -hmm. aqueduct yep. coaster, whatever, like grownups can do that too, because, I mean, I don't know. I'm really like a child. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so there really is something for everyone. I, I mean, I came in silver in a Sudoku tournament <laughs> on that one cruise we went on. That's the only one I've been on. This is true. Didn't we, wait, didn't we win something too? Or was it just a Sudoku tournament thing? Because you got the medal for it. I got the medal. You won yeah. a, a necklace, like a sapphire diamond necklace. Oh, that's right. Giveaway. Yeah, I did. I was like, look, I got you At a jewelry pretty. store and whatever that... <laughs> Nassau. It was in Nassau. Yeah. Um, that was fun. I remember that. It was funny. So uh, also most meals and some beverages are included. So this is one thing to, uh, if you're, if you're looking at cruises, every cruise line is a little bit different when it comes to this, what is included, mm -hmm. what is not. Uh, for example, with Disney cruise line, um, they do not have uh, beverage packages, meaning um, they do not charge you extra for uh, mm -hmm. like Cokes and, you know, other soft drink stuff, juices, etc. cetera, uh, where, you know, and you could get, I think coffee, tea and water are included with a lot of uh, cruise lines, like for free um, versus say Royal Caribbean. If you did want juice, if you did want Coke. soft drinks, like Cokes or smoothies, you would have to pay an additional fee to get that particular beverage package. If you wanted an alcoholic beverage package, you have to pay an additional fee for that. With with Disney, they don't even have um, alcoholic beverage packages at, at all. So all alcoholic beverage drinks are kind of a pay per... As you go. Yeah, yep. pay as you go sort of thing. So every cruise line has a few little idiosyncrasies on how this thing works. you will be able to eat and drink. Yes, Without paying extra money, if yep. that's what you want, yeah, like, you will have yeah. all of your meals and stuff. Yeah, they're, they're, they're absolutely. So, um, she's she's one hundred percent right on that. Which often means too, like if you just want to have room service instead of going to the fancy dinner night or whatever, mm -hmm. you can do that. Yep. Yeah. So um, there are a lot of different, uh, even kind of room service tiers depending on what cruise line you're on uh, and what kind of stateroom you're in and those kinds of things. Uh, some cruise lines have the equivalent of butlers that are on their ships that service their rooms. Some do not. Uh, so it just, again, 
there, there's a variety. And also like the, the last bullet point I put on here are new friends. Um, I know yeah. a fair amount of people. Well, I mean, some people go to like escape. Like I don't want to be around people, but you end up being around this, people. There's this family that lived in my neighborhood growing up where the, the husband and wife had met on a cruise mm. and ended up getting married and having babies. There you go. They were from like different countries. He was huh. American and she was French. That's pretty but, cool. But like generally speaking, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, just, probably not going to meet your. I, I just know, like, I know, <laughs> I've heard stories like some people that like to travel with the same group, same families, and those kinds of things. They grew up doing a lot of the same, you know, cruises and you know, same ship and you know, stuff like that. So for some people, like cruising together is uh, is like a thing. So yeah. you kind of pawn your kids off into the kids' areas, and the adults go and do adult things. That so when you word it like that, well, but that's what that's what happens. I know, but. You don't word it like that. Marketing. Marketing. There's a wonderful opportunity for your children to have a highly engaged experience with properly trained, highly trained uh, ship counselors. That's it. Yeah. There you go. Actually, no, this is true. So uh, Royal Caribbean Cruise Line is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the only cruise line that has uh, certified um, certified cruise counselors for youth uh, that are trained um, in working with children on this autism spectrum. So that's one thing to be aware of. Uh, Real Caribbean is a very friendly fruit cruise line when it comes to uh, working with kids that are on the spectrum. Uh, so similar to where Beaches Resorts and All-Inclusive Resort, this part of the Sandals brand, um, they are a certified uh, autism uh, destination uh, as well. So uh, super friendly there, but Disney Cruise Line specifically friendly. is Disney Cruise Line specifically is also different. Uh, we mentioned the differences of like the the sodas and juices and stuff being included uh, with, with your meals um, because hey, you know it's Disney. You've got characters, you've got Disney shows, you've got Disney movies. Uh, if it's a first run Disney movie that is playing in the movie theaters back They're home, the they play those on the ship. Even if it's the day like the opening day, they will have it available there. Opening day on the ship, fireworks and every night. Yeah. Uh, fireworks, not, I don't think it's every night. Um, I think it's a certain night, but they do have a, a pirate party that's kind of the, the one of the sort of classic cornerstone uh, Disney experiences on board, of course. Plus the horn plays when you wish upon a star. Yes, it does, and that is pretty... It plays like a... I feel like a few different things, but that's like kind of the... Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> it's, it's actually really kind of hard to hear <laughs> when you hear it. It's like... I thought you were about to go... I thought you were about to go wah, 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 wah. <laughs> no, I was trying to do the... I don't know what just happened. Um, <laughs> but the character greeting. So one of the biggest uh, how is this making new friends? And you're making no, new we're point. to Disney Cruise Line. We're talking oh, I about didn't that. Realize. Yeah, sorry. Um I'm ready to go to bed. Yeah. So and I'll kind of there's like three more, but I'll uh, I'll go through these because you've uh, already covered a lot of the things, <laughs> right? So Disney Cruise Line specifically, uh one of the biggest sort of i guess critiques that we hear about um as travel agents of folks visiting the disney parks are waiting in line to meet the characters you're like i don't want to wait in line for three hours to meet cinderella i mean just that'll take up so much of your day and blah, blah, blah whatever disney cruise line characters are everywhere there are some lines that will form for some of them but some of them randomly pop up and appear some of them um you know are sort of more scheduled uh, appearances in especially with some of the themed cruises like the Star Wars Day at Sea and Marvel Day at Sea, um, they're all over the place and you never know who you're going to see, who you're going to run into. And they're more than happy to, you know, stop. They let you grab a quick selfie. Uh, now, some of the, you know, you can't take a regular picture, only a selfie. You have to take it of yourself. Yeah, you do. They're, they don't do the regular taking of pictures things. Um, but now, since a lot of the regulations have been relaxed, um, we're looking more towards. Uh, just you know, being able to capture some great shots on board as well. So um, there are uh, photo pass opportunities on board as well for if you don't want to, if you want to get a more of a professional level, you know, picture or whatever, um, those are available on the ship. So Disney Cruise Line is a great experience. They go all out for uh, the holiday season. They have uh, very merry time cruises. They have Halloween on the high merry scene. Time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Halloween on the high seas cruises where they do a lot of the same things you might see in the parks uh, or on the ships as well. Uh, and you know they celebrate and they go all out. People ask me, do they have like I want to go on Thanksgiving? Do they have like turkey and dressing? Yes, they have turkey and dressing on the ship on Thanksgiving Day. 
uh, when you're selling with Disney Cruise Line. So cool. it's a great experience for families. Uh, highly recommend it for that. There are some adult only areas of the ship, as we've talked about already. So, you know, I've known people to go on their honeymoons on Disney Cruise Line, uh, but for a family oriented cruise line uh, that does family focused entertainment and, uh, you know, the all around experiences, highly, highly recommend it. Um, next down the line from Disney Cruise Line for me would be Royal Caribbean uh, as far as a family cruising experience. Uh, because of, again, the kids' clubs, you know, the water slides, uh, a number of the different opportunities that uh, are there. Now, one of the key differences between Disney Cruise Line and Royal Caribbean um, and, and Celebrity is that, which we'll get to here in a moment, um, I'm glad Charles calls his feet still on because he's a big celebrity guru, cruise line guru, Um is that Disney Cruise Line does not have a main dining room. Uh, they do something called rotational dining where you have the same server that follows you from restaurant to restaurant as you move along. They kind of get to know you. They anticipate your needs. They're familiar with your uh, you know, allergies if you have those, um, your, your, just the different things you like and don't like and all that mm -hmm, kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. They sort of get to know you uh, along the way. Uh, with Royal Caribbean, they do have like a, a main seating. They have a second seating uh, available for their uh, larger dining areas. And they also have some upgraded dining experience as well. Disney Cruise Line uh, has the same on board uh, as well. So Royal Caribbean, again, has a lot of the same different things. They don't have the characters on board um, like you might see on Disney Cruise Line. Uh, their ships typically are a little bit bigger, especially the newer ones, um, like the Oasis class and up. These ships are pretty massive. They have these giant aqua theaters on the back of them. They have like what they call neighborhoods inside. Um, most people are like, you know, when you're picking between the cruise, you want an inside, you want an ocean view or you want a balcony right? Those are sort of the three typical ones. Well, uh, Royal Caribbean on some of their ships, they have balcony like park view rooms, meaning it's not a balcony that faces outwards, but it's a balcony that faces inwards and you can like people watch and do all those kinds Maybe of things. Maybe think of like Opryland Hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very similar to that. Very similar to the, to the Gaylord Opryland Hotel. <laughs> that dog's so, stretching and he's got his paw like over the he's totally asleep. bottom part that goes around my desk. I think that's all his paw just, yeah, it's totally his twitching. His little back leg is like, he's running with his one little <laughs> leg. It's like, I can't get comfortable. Why not? Where am I? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, he's look up. Where, look where I fell asleep. Oh, a shoe. Um, but yeah, Royal Caribbean is great. Uh, next to uh, Disney Cruise Line for families, uh, Royal is probably the top uh, cruise line that that I recommend for folks. Um, they have a lot of ships. Um, you know, right now Disney only has four. I don't know the exact number for Royal Caribbean, but they sail out of uh, several more ports than Disney does. Uh, like in, in Florida alone, uh, Royal Caribbean sails out of Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Port Canaveral, and I think Tampa. Um, so. Disney only has, a, a couple, I think, a couple of those ports covered. Uh, but a lot of great opportunities there on Royal Caribbean. Big, big fan of them. Um, and, uh, you know, even if you're looking for a group experience, Royal Caribbean offers some groups, uh, discounts, and for, you know, cruise groups, I think, of eight or more uh, for that. And if you have questions about that, let me know. Disney Cruise Line does not hands. do what? Let me dive my yawns. Yeah. Disney Cruise Line does not have uh, any, like, group incentives or, you know, whatnot, but a little bit different. So, um, Charles says, our favorite Oasis ship balcony is over Central Park. There you go. There you go. Um, Hope says, are people just walking around with a lot of alcohol in Real Caribbean? Um, they aren't on Disney. So I would so say we were on a Royal Caribbean years ago and we were like, how can these people afford to be drunk all the time? Like, yeah, no, well, I, I, I would say, um, I, I would say not, uh, maybe more so than Disney, but not as much as Carnival. Um, Carnival is kind of, it's, it's lesser typically on average, lesser expensive than even Royal Caribbean is. Um, but the ships are so big and you know again they're great kids clubs uh it's not a big like party spring break atmosphere if that's what you're asking about um but you know they do have you know different areas for adults to hang out different areas for kids to hang out and whatnot so it, it's it's definitely a family friendly like so experience. like we remember I, I mean i remember on our one royal caribbean cruise several years ago like seeing people that were drunk but it wasn't like people staggering around all the time because hope says to, she just like she's not against alcohol, but just like right, she doesn't want it around her kids all the time. Right, like, her kids was having to see people like stab yeah. her. It wasn't. It wasn't like that. Yeah. I mean, I think. I mean, I'm trying to think like back because it was a while ago. Kids probably wouldn't have even noticed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's Tr not like people are just wasted every. 
which way? Yep. Charles says Royal Caribbean has had a Shrek partnership. He's right. Uh, you're correct. They do have a partnership with Shrek. And I think just kind of DreamWorks uh, in, in general, uh, not as like heavy of a theming as say like Disney does with their own uh, IP, but he is correct. I actually don't know. I need to check because I don't know if uh, they brought the characters back in full force like Disney has had because uh, a lot of the cruise line have, they're still bringing back certain things uh, and certain experiences along the way. So um yeah, let's talk about celebrity. Um, and actually, Charles says that's fair. The longer cruise on the Royal Caribbean, even Carnival, the less overt partying um, predominates. So, um, all right, celebrity cruise line. And Charles, feel free to interject here. Uh, celebrity is celebrity. celebrity is part of this same. Um, celebrity is a celebrity does Harry. Remember that. <laughs> that's good. Uh, celebrity is part of the same uh, company you, group as uh, Royal Caribbean. So. Royal Caribbean International uh, encompasses Royal Caribbean Cruise Line as well as Celebrity. Uh, Celebrity uh, has recently moved to what they call an always included model, uh, meaning for Celebrity, you don't have to pay extra for Wi-Fi. You don't have to pay extra for your kind of base level, you know, dream packages. They are including a lot of things that traditionally you would have to pay for uh, off, off the bat. Now, Within those always included packages, they have three different kind of tiers of that that you go up and you get certain things added as you uh, as you move up in tier uh, tiers. But uh, celebrity is is also more um, is from what I understand because I haven't cruised celebrity. Just being transparent, uh, they're more about the destination uh, than they are the ship per se. Uh, so the ships are very crisp, crisp, clean, modern, um, and the service is excellent. Uh, I've heard a lot of people compare the level of service you get on a celebrity ship to what you might receive on a Disney Cruise Line ship. Um, so they're also more, I think, geared towards a slightly different crowd. Uh, definitely still some kids activities uh, available on board uh, and a lot of great you know, restaurants, dining pools, all the things. Uh, but not as, um, I don't know, not as kitschy, I guess, as, as you might see on on some of the other cruise lines. So. Big fan of Celebrity, though, as far as the feedback that I get from folks uh, that have sailed with them uh, are pretty devoted uh, to them. And Travel Animation has a great uh, partnership with all the cruise lines, but I think especially with kind of Royal Caribbean and Celebrity. Um, so if you have any questions about that, feel free to let us know. We'd love to chat with you more uh, about Celebrity Cruise Line. Again, great dining experiences. And last but not least. Oh, the one I'm so excited about. The one. Virgin Voyages. Talk about it. I want to go. On a cruise. Why do you want to go on a virgin voyage cruise? Several reasons. No children. I love children. I have several. Adults only. It's adults only. Yep. And you can sail at 18, but you have to be in a cabin with someone who's 21. Yes. So an 18 year old, 19 year old, 20 year old cannot go book it. Um, they have to be with a 21 year old who's booking. Mm -hmm. um, the, like you were saying, all, like everything included kind of thing. Wi-Fi yep. and fast Wi-Fi. Yep. Uh, that kind of stuff. The dining is like incomparable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like, like you talk about, like you hear people talking about like eating so well on cruises, but they are like very, very highly rated on all their meals. Um, they have solo cabins. Mm -hmm. So if you like to travel alone, yep. like this girl, <laughs> normally you would have to pay double occupancy. I mean, you pay for a cabin, you pay yep. for a cabin, right? If two people are in it or one, they don't care. Um, I mean, they care. Right. But like, it's it's the same price, but mm -hmm. with Virgin they have um, solo cabins, so you can travel by yourself um, and not have to pay. Or even, I mean, even if you have like, like I like to travel by myself, but I mean, if you're just with a family, and say, I don't know, there's grandparents, kids, and grandkids. One of the kids mm -hmm. is, you know, unmarried. Like they can have a room and not have to share with their nieces or nephews or right, whatever. Right. You know what I mean? So it's not just people who totally go alone, although, you know, that's what I like to do. And other people do too. But um, they have more like rooms with balconies than any other room. This is true. On yeah. Ship. That's the vast majority of their rooms are going to be rooms with balconies and the ships are smaller and sleeker. Mm -hmm. They're more like uh, super yachts. Yeah. That's the styling they're going for, right? Like Richard Branson is known for like the money that he spends. <laughs> and, and, they, and because of the size of the ships, they can even uh, go into port in some places that the larger cruise line ships cannot. Yeah. Where you would have to take yeah. one of those little thingies. Tinder. Yep. Um, <laughs> they stop like, like Richard Branson has a, 
I mean, as like a private island, but yeah. then there's like a private area where mm-hmm. all the voyages stop, kind of like Bimini, you know, I think it's Key called. Or Bimini. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, like Castaway Key or, or, or Royal Caribbean has mm-hmm. um, Coco Key. Like yeah. they've got these places. So there's a place like that that stops. Yep. And again, like dining, Wi Fi, everything is covered there. Right. Um, and it's not and, just like, and it's not just like go to a steak restaurant, go to an Italian restaurant, go to a fr- it they is, do. It, they like, they've there got that kind of like stuff. That. They've got like tapas and yeah. But like the chefs in the kitchen are from those countries. Um, the, they have, what's one, uh, the test kitchen. So they have one called the test kitchen that is basically dishes that you're kind of familiar with, but they're prepared in a completely different way. And a very creative presentation, um, that I get, like from the people that I've known, other agents and folks that have traveled on Virgin Voyages, because they have not been in the water very long. Um, they talk about the test kitchen, I feel like, more than almost any of the other. We've only got spots. like two ships right now, yeah. but they've got two more coming. Right. So um, they're in the Mediterranean. They're, they sail out of Miami, they right. sail out of Puerto Rico. Um, there's one that stops kind of all around the Mar- mm-hmm. Mediterranean, and there's yep. one that makes several stops just in Spain. Yeah, it's mostly focused on Spain, and there is in the Mediterranean. There is a place I believe it is in Spain where all the cruises stop. It's their like Mediterranean version of the Bimini stop in the Caribbean, but um, they also have in Miami their own terminal. They mm-hmm. they spend several million dollars yeah. building their own terminal, and it's like club level. I mean, and the whole like embarkation process takes like less than thirty minutes because it's all them. Like it's yeah. theirs. They get to control it. Um, Oh, just everything I see about Virgin Voyages, I'm like, dude, I, I need to, I need to experience that. <laughs> Charles says that he has a friend. And he was, uh, we'll put this up there. He was telling me about this person somewhat recently. I feel like I have a friend who does cruise content videos, and she was invited aboard a Virgin cruise ship recently to preview. Her reaction would support much of what you say. Her word was edgy. Yeah, I think yes. edgy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's it's not for the it's not for the faint of heart. Now it's not like a, I don't know. It's not like super extreme, but for it's it's definitely very like trendy. It's yeah. on trend for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but true. not like I. But I. I don't know. There's like this weird juxtaposition. I feel like it's on trend, but also like still pretty classic. Yep. But it's very focused on luxury, yes, like adult this is and true. luxury, and yeah, yeah. So. Virgin Voyages, definitely check it out. Again, it's pretty new. We have not um, sailed on Virgin. so uh, But it's definitely an option for you. And price-wise, they're pretty competitive. I think I was looking at it recently uh, compared to even Celebrity. Uh, in, yeah, they're not in, like in, super. In some, yeah. yeah. And they've got a number of different you know, categories and available with, you know, your balconies, your inside ocean view, and they've got rock star suites and the like. So oh, yeah. uh, a lot of great opportunities there for you. So um Anything else? Any other comments about cruising? Do it. Do it. But you have to have a vaccine. May the fourth be with you. And also with you. So anyway, uh, yeah. So as far as vaccines go, so that's one question we get. So let's address the kind of the elephant in the room, so to speak. Um, right now, vaccines are still required to cruise on cruise ships. Now, the age Some limit. differences. Like yeah. Royal Caribbean, you have over 12. Right. But like your five to 11 year olds, you know, with others, right. The five to 11 year olds, like on Disney have to be vaccinated. Yep. Five and up on Royal Caribbean. Norwegian cruise lines the same way. Five, five and up. Yeah. Yep. Five and up. Yeah. So, um, you know, if, if you have kids that are unvaccinated and you're looking at this Royal Caribbean would definitely be a good option for yep. you right now. Plus they sail free at some point. Like kids sail free. A, yeah. 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 They just, they just ran that promotion. They do it a few times a year. Um, they just ran it Is recently. It I don't, I think it's already over for okay, now. Sorry. Um, but I could actually, we can look it up. And but even when they don't, later. I feel like they often have like kids sale for half price. Like, I feel like they do a lot of, there, there's always some sort of like there, some sort of promotion really around about, there. They're probably one of the most affordable while still being a good cruise line. Right? Yeah. They're not like a cheap cruise line, but they can be a lot more. I'm looking it up right now just to see if it's they still going. always have specials going. So, uh, there, yeah, well, there, there's a, that's that's the May offer. So there's a couple of different ones that are out there. Um, so they have off and kids sale free. That yeah, five hundred fifty. Yeah, credits. so it, it depends. Basically, it's going to depend on the dates uh, of when you're yep. on when you're booking until when. So they have a run right now where guests can save up to five hundred fifty dollars off sailings departing May twenty seventh and after. 
they'll save, you know, at least 30% off of every guest. And then kids will sail free between, let's see here, June, uh, three nights or longer to par- departing between june 1 and april 30th so uh with all these different promotions that are that out there insane. yeah 550 dollars off plus 30 percent off the guest plus a good sale free. with with all the different promotions that are out there five to eleven don't have to do there that. are always um like specific booking terms and conditions mm-hmm. as far as cancellation policies and deposits and all that typically for cruises if you're new new ish to cruising uh, deposits are usually around 20 percent and if you go with a non-refundable rate uh, deposit rate, those rates are typically a little bit cheaper than the refundable rates. So there's a number of different ways to look at that. There are also these things called guarantee categories on board ships where um, you don't get to pick the specific stateroom number, but you basically pick the category and then you're assigned uh, the stateroom once you I like, save you a few once you, dollars. Yeah, yeah, once like you get on board. Get there. Yeah. So, but again, some of those things require flexibility and whatnot. Like if you're just like go on to go or whatever, I mean, may be a good option for you so anyway lots of different things if you've got questions about cruising uh, questions about cruising at all feel free just to uh, kind of tag us on social uh, reach out to us on uh, facebook instagram the tiktok email i feel like these are pigeon. pretty good if you want to go kind of last minute too, yes because they'll like if they have availability last minute you can get some good rates on those as well yep. so i mean i know i have people every now and then they contact me and they're like oh i really want to you know, go to Disney or yes. wherever in like a month, you probably don't have time to plan that. And I'm like, right. I could, you could go Thursday and I can plan it. Like, yeah, yeah we can yeah. do this. We can do this. But cruises <clears> are a good one. And you can get deals sometimes if you wait until the last minute. Yes. So that's good too. If you have flexibility, like John works from home and we homeschool. Yeah. So, you know, if you're, if your family has that sort of flexibility, you know, let us know too. Like, Hey, we want to do something really last minute. Do you see any good deals? Yeah. Some um, those are. And I mean, the worst we can say is, you know, no, <laughs> but oftentimes right. we can't, you know, yeah. oftentimes we can't. So. Yeah. So cool stuff. Um, I hope that you all have enjoyed this conversation about uh, cruising tonight. Um, it's been fun. Um, covered a lot of different things. Is I that think. thunder? I think it was. I think like I saw something about like scattered showers well, yeah, or whatever. We kept thunder. getting thunder. We kept... Sorry. <laughs> and this little Fred, our three-year-old goes, Fundo. <laughs> it's the it's, best. It's like so awesome. Uh, if, uh, if, you, if you haven't seen the Screamo version of Surface Pressure, you are missing out. Oh That's my all gosh. It's Our Last Night is the band that covers it. Yeah. And they're like, that's the that's they're the like, good one. There are a few, like but rock, that's the good one. Screaming rock. And my yeah. kids had not been exposed. It's so to this, good. And they love it. Uh, we anyway. will play it so loud in the car and just like scream our heads off. And then we like <laughs> get out of the car and go back in the house and do normal. And things. every now and then you'll just hear you'll just hear him scream, no mistakes, like out in the back. Oh, he screams it. No like it's legit. Uh anyway, so yeah, that's enough uh cruise talk and random tidbits from our life tonight. Of our um, wild ne- next week uh we'll probably do a trip recap of the experience my experience at um Palace Resorts down in Mexico. I'll just be here to heckle because that was the trip I was supposed to go on. Yeah, I'm not it is. about not being able to go on it at all. No, she's she's not bitter at all. So maybe we'll bring See, in some guests. Listeners, you're missing my face right now. Just saying. <laughs> Her beautiful face. No, no, that is not what I said. But it is. Mm, he has to say that. It's in the, con- <laughs> it's in the contract. Um, in the contract. <clears throat> wait a minute. Hang on. I don't know what she's referring to. Jen says, are you telling the story or am I? Because you had fun, no. Oh. <laughs> he is so not with it tonight, Sorry. y'all. Like, give him a break. Give him a oh, break, Jen. Oh, need to go to sleep. All right. And, uh, yeah, anyway, that's it. I uh, hope you'll have a magical See, that's why I rest. I need to be in charge yeah. of the computer because by the time you get the comments, it's like 10 minutes ago. And then be well, but one. it's kind of funnier that way. No, it's kind of part of our branding. It's not part of my branding. Do not associate my name with us. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thank you everybody for joining us. And uh, we hope you'll have a magical rest of your night. Go we'll to sleep. Go to sleep. We'll see you next week on Travel Tips Tuesday. Bye. Is it over?